In this lesson, we'll get an overview of Divi 5's structure and workspace. The goal is to help you understand how Divi fits into WordPress and give you a first look at the builder environment before we dive deeper into the details in later videos. Let's start with Divi as a WordPress theme. Divi isn't just a regular theme. It controls the look and feel of your website, adds its own advanced functionality, and integrates seamlessly with WordPress. Unlike a standard theme that's limited to design templates, Divi comes with its own builder and a complete set of tools for creating custom layouts and designs. Next, let's talk about the different option layers that Divi provides. There are three main areas you'll use. Theme options control global settings like your site default logo, performance features, and integrations. The theme builder manages global templates such as headers, footers, and post layouts. And the customizer gives access to legacy WordPress customization features, which are still available in Divi 5. We'll go into each of these areas in more depth later in the course, but for now, it's important to know how they fit together. Now let's look at how to access the Divi workspace. From your WordPress dashboard, create or open a page and select the option to use the Divi Builder. This opens the front-end editing environment, where you can design directly on the page rather than using the default WordPress editor. At a high level, the Divi Builder is where you'll create layouts using sections, rows, and modules. These elements can be added, rearranged, and customized visually. Think of it as a drag-and-drop design system built right into WordPress. Finally, let's take a quick look at the main interface. At the top, you'll find the control bar with options for page settings, responsive previews, undo and redo, and dark mode. On the left side, you will find options for the variable manager, layer panel, wireframe mode, and options for the builder. On the canvas, you can add and arrange your sections, rows, and modules. And Divi also includes context menus and quick actions that make editing more efficient. Again, we'll go into each of these features in detail in upcoming lessons. That wraps up our introduction to the Divi 5 structure and workspace. You now know how Divi fits into WordPress, what role the different option layers play, and how to open the builder and start exploring the interface. In the next lessons, we'll dive deeper into each of these areas to really see what's possible 